So much has changed. I wonder if you... That was pretty useless. Figures. Uh, nice. Of them. Hang in there, Skip. Figures. Uh, nice. To... Of them. Hang in there, Skip. No. I gotta get moving. Weird to think I might actually see some of the world one day. A sudden and mysterious absence of... A sudden and mysterious absence of... Chloe Price. <sighs> it's way too early to be up on a Sunday. One last thing. I need to get Dad's tools so I can fix that truck. Dad's toolbox should be in the garage downstairs. Still can't fucking believe that David went through my stuff. It would be nice if I had some clean clothes. Sorry, board. I've got a real ride to fix up now. If Rachel and I were still leaving today, there's literally nothing in there that's worth taking. Have road. Need truck. Seeing so much of David's shit around. Gross. I remember this. Mom loved it. <sighs> uh, can I just give that to Mom again? For Good body shop. <laughs> I wonder who gave this to mom. So if I put this photo out, mom just hides it in a different drawer? What the hell? Here goes. What are the chances I can avoid Mom or David? <laughs> I'm flipping them over. <laughs> Not yet, I told you. Three minutes each side. They're gonna burn. Oh, you're the expert now. I can't stand it. I'm telling you, it'll make a mess. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you don't have to make me breakfast. I'd settle for flowers. You cook all the time. 
I want you to have a break at home. <laughs> you are one class act, David Madsen. <laughs> Mom actually looks pretty happy right now. Hey, who's there? Hey... Chloe! Your hair! When did you... Was this for the play? I heard you performed last night. Nope. I mean... I, I did. But this is... Uh, is something different. None of that matters now. Oh, I am so glad to see you. Good to see you, Chloe. Coming home was a smart decision. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. Thank you, sweetheart. I... Uh, I didn't get you anything. Having you back home is present enough. I'm just here to pick up something. Then I... Uh, I have to go. Are you coming home tonight? Mom, I... I don't know. I wish you would tell me what you're up to. I'm... I'm just hanging out with Rachel. Oh, how is Rachel? I was telling David about the play and you being in it. I really gotta go. Listen, wait. Before you go, David has something to say to you. It won't take but a minute. Mom. I don't think this is the best idea. You already promised. <sighs> Chloe, I've made an agreement with your mother to trust you from now on. <laughs> Really? What does that mean? It means that from today forward, I'm going to take you at your word. So if you say you haven't been smoking or drinking, then I'll just leave you be. Even though she had pot yesterday. David, the idea is you should feel comfortable here, Chloe. David's not going to question you, and neither am I. <sighs> David. 
David's lying to your face, Mom. He searched my room. What? You didn't know? Detective Dickwad here went through all of my drawers and my bed. It's what you asked me to do. Make sure she's got no drugs or alcohol for her own good. Oh, oh my goodness, Chloe. I'm sorry. I thought that... I'm sorry, Joyce. I didn't know this it's would upset Chloe you. It's Chloe who deserves the apology. Well, Chloe, I'm sorry that I violated your privacy. I did it with your best interest in mind. Okay. I... I accept your lame apology. Chloe. What? I really meant it. Good job. Can we be done now? Wait. One second. Don't go, Chloe. I've been meaning to show you something. Maybe, maybe now's a good time. This is my friend Phil Becker. We served in the same unit, two tours. Becker was killed near the end of our deployment. Roadside IED. We used to joke about all the trouble we were going to get into once we got back home. But he died. He died and I didn't. And I think about that fact every damn day. The point is, I've had my share of grief. I know what you're going through. So I guess what I'm saying is, I'm here to do what, whatever I can to help you get over the loss of your dad. Please, I'm begging you. Give David a chance, won't you? Here. Why don't you keep this photo for a little while? Uh, think about what I've said. David looks so young. And this Phil guy, they look close. Thank you, David. Oh, Chloe. Mom. I'm just so proud of you both. Mom, I really need to go. Be careful out there, Chloe. I love you, sweetheart. All right, all right. What the hell? Just gotta grab Dad's toolbox and then get out of here quick. <laughs> What's the matter, David? Don't want any more decorations inside your toolbox? Thank you.
with me here. a bit more love I can salvage this beast I just need to find the right tool for each problem I can definitely see some problems. Just need to match them to the right tool. Looks like the serpentine belt could use some help. I don't think the screwdriver would do the belt much good. I could probably tighten the serpentine belt with the wrench. I could probably tighten the serpentine belt with the wrench. Stan Stanwick here, and we've got a special treat for all you Sunday Funday listeners out there. Live in Seder Studios, Skip Matthews, lead singer of Pisshead, one of the Bay's hottest new bands. Say hi to this the fans, Skip. This thing is going to the fuck up. Hi, fans. Now, Skip, I understand you work as a security guard at Blackwell Academy. Is that true? Maybe. Uh, yeah. That, that, that's, that's true. Keeping the kitties safe by day and melting their faces off by night. Sick. That the plan, Skip? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Something like that. Fantastic. We're about to play a brand new track from his head. And if you haven't heard these guys yet, what I want you to do is crank that stereo up as loud as it goes. If anyone complains, what do you tell them, Skip? Uh, his head rules? Hmm. <laughs> Nailed it. What do I see? Oh. I know. When life gives you gunk, make uh, art, I guess. Looks like someone tried to patch this thing up sometime before I was born. 
At this point, I think that ancient duct tape is better than anything I can do. Better leave it be. It's pretty loose. How can I tighten it? Much better. The distributor cap looks pretty gross. I need something small to scrape the gunk off the cap. Nothing doing. The distributor cap looks pretty gross. I need something small to scrape the gunk off the cap. Nothing doing. Nope. Not gonna help. I bet Dad would have liked the idea of me using his tools to fix her. This connection is pretty shaky. I could fix this battery post if I could get a good enough grip on it. There. Fits like a deadly electric glove. This thing seems pretty bumped up. I think I should move on to something else. The distributor cap looks pretty gross. I need something small to scrape the gunk off the cap. Nothing doing. That should help keep shit distributed. Well, fuck. Go back from whence you came. Spark plugs busted. Carbon deposits. Of course.
Please. I need you. Junkyard Queen, where are you at? Hey. Holy shit. Your hair. It's so... <laughs> Badass. <laughs> I was gonna say hot. But, yeah. Badass, too. Hey. Not sure if you saw, but someone moved your truck. No way. Should we check it out? Hey, Price. Nice wheels. You're early, Frank. What's the occasion? It's his fucking bar mitzvah. Frank here's becoming a man. Aren't you, big guy? What's he doing here? What do you think? We're not dealing with a couple of dime bags anymore, Chloe. Where's the money? For fuck's sake, the money wasn't there. What do you want from me? I don't think she has it. Oh? It's cute how she acts like you two are friends. <laughs> you heard what happened to Drew. Right? Maybe try keeping that in mind when you talk to me. Don't fucking touch her. Why is it that chicks think it's okay to hit me? But if I lay a single finger on them, suddenly, it's a whole other thing. Frank says you were asking about a client of his. That true? Yeah, it's true. 
I don't see why you should give a shit. You don't? Huh. Maybe I'll show you. See, you two Nancy Drews decided it would be a good idea to call your drug dealer and ask about his business. I didn't go to a fancy academy, but that doesn't strike me as smart. Maybe it was this man's sunny disposition that confused you, but he's got a whole other side to him that I don't think you'd like. Should we let them see it? We're just talking here. <sighs> okay, then let's talk. I want to know right now. Why you give a shit about this woman? I, she's a friend. An old family friend. <laughs> this chick doesn't have any family. Or any friends. Look, none of this matters. All we care about is that you stop asking questions. Got it? No. Tell me where she is. Now, Rachel. Wait a minute. <laughs> no way. What the fuck is your pro Rachel? As in... Rachel Amber? <laughs> that makes so much sense. This is James Amber's fucking kid. Damon, your dad's a real piece of shit, you know? We're aware. Not sure what that has to do with us. Me neither. But I'd like to find out. Here's what happens next. Come on, man. They're just kids. No, they're not. This one is the fucking DA's daughter. And right now, she's going to fill me in on what her daddy is up to and how he's connected to that whore everyone's asking about. Damon, calm down. We're still talking. Everything's still cool. No need to get crazy. Uh! Ah!
Rachel is going to be all right. The knife damaged her brachial artery, but didn't cut it. She's out of surgery, and now she's resting. Chloe, what happened? I don't, I don't know. Everything happened so fast. That guy you have a file on. Damon Merrick. Why does he hate you so much? I know exactly who Damon Merrick is. Start over and tell me everything. Did you and Rachel try to contact Sarah? I'm not going to chastise or blame you, Chloe, but I need the whole story. So, I got my dealer to meet us, since he knows Sarah. Frank Bowers. Yeah, that's right. But Damon showed up with him. What did Merrick want? I, I think he wanted to scare us, so he'd stop asking questions about his business. Is that how it became violent? When he found out Rachel was the DA's daughter, he, he wanted information about you. And how did he know that I'm her father? called her Rachel, and he figured it out from there. It's not your fault. What happened next? Damon had a knife out, and we all could see it, but then he said something that pissed Rachel off, and she just grabbed a piece of wood and hit him. And then he stabbed her. I keep thinking that maybe I could have done something, but when he attacked her, I just froze. It's not your fault. And Frank held him off so we could get to the truck. I heard a scream, but I don't know what happened. And then, we were here. I appreciate you telling me the truth.
What are you going to do about Damon? Find out if he is alive. First of all, my department's been after him for some time. I was told that if Rachel had arrived only a few minutes later, she might not have... Um... Thank you, Chloe. You saved my world. It will be some time before Rachel wakes up. I promise. I'll let you know when she does. Okay. Thanks. Hey. Steph. How's Drew? Pretty good. Miss Amber just told me Rachel's going to be okay. I'm really glad. Yeah. Well, our room's just down the hall. You should come by. Okay. Sure. Definitely. I don't think I can sit still any longer. Might as well stretch my legs while I wait for Rachel to wake up. If I want to stay sane, I need to stay busy. What's there to do around here? I hope Drew's doing better. I should visit him. Rachel's waiting for me. Shouldn't stay here too long.
Come on. <laughs> Not that I have any coins anyway. <laughs> oh man. Jackpot. So relieved that Rachel's awake. I should see her right away. Oh, shit. I know those guys. Uh, this doesn't look like the maternity wing. Uh, there's a sign for the prenatal class. I can't believe we're finally doing this. I'm so excited. <laughs> You're gonna be a good dad. <laughs> Guess I'm glad we stole their wine. Rachel's probably waiting for me. I'm gonna just... Walk into Rachel's room. Try and stop me, nurses. Okay, nurses. The world wants to know. What's so funny? Relieved that Rachel's awake. I should see her right away. Rachel's probably waiting for me. I'm gonna just... Walk into Rachel's room. Try and stop me, nurses. I'm so relieved that Rachel's awake. I should see her right away. <laughs> 